What's up everyone? So today's video is going to be a 12 month baby must have. So this was highly requested from you guys when I asked you on Instagram what videos you guys want to see. This one took the cake. So if you want to stay up to date with like my polls and everything about content over here, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Madison Miller, super easy to find. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these 12 month baby must haves. Also, I believe I have one that I did for Riley. So I will link that one down below so you guys can check that one out. But I definitely added a few things in this one that are a little bit more up to date. The first thing that I recommend is a really fun activity cube. And this one is so cool. You can actually get this in pink or blue. You can get it on Etsy. I will have it linked down below. So Kinsley has so much fun with this. I actually put this down on the bottom shelf in the playroom so she can get easy access to it. And then also Riley loves it too. But this thing has so many different things on it, you guys. And it's so adorable. You have different latches that she can play with, keys. Also Riley loves to play with it as well. We also have shapes up here that you can post um, a little sun. We're missing the star, the triangle and the square. I don't know where that is, but also what's really neat about it is look at, it has lights. So you hit the little switch and it lights up behind it. You also have these little critters. These guys right here are actually magnets and they just go right on there. There's so many different things on this and it's so well made. It's all wood. It even comes with little balls too that you can have go down here and like post it as well. So there's so much in this thing and it's so stinking cute. Let me show you guys a little bit more of a close up so you can really, really see it. And then this thing is a little drawer and then you've got like numbers in here too that you can do for posting. You can do everything and this will definitely grow with them. Like I said, Riley's three. She loves to play with this as well. There, It does come with those little balls. So I actually have the little balls put away right now until Kinsley gets a little older and is not putting things in her mouth. But other than that, everything is great for them and I think it's an awesome activity cube to get for them. I love the wooden stuff and the design of it is so adorable. Another fun thing for them is the polka dot books. These are from Melissa and Doug. I actually had these recommended a ton back in the day with Riley. They just came out with a whole Blue's Clues line and Kinsley is obsessed with Blue's Clues. Like that's her favorite thing. If Blue's Clues pops up on the TV, it's like instant, like she does not move. No one has her attention except for Blue. It is so adorable. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh, I gotta get this for her. So I got this for her Easter basket, but they love it because the polka dot books, they make these little dots and you just pop them and it just intrigues them and they just sit there and they pop them and they have so much fun with them. They have We have different ones as well. We have a farm one, we have an under the sea one, we also have a shape one and then they have a number one. There's so many options, I will link them down below, but they're so much fun for them. Like Kinsey will literally just be sitting on the ground and she'll just be like flipping the pages and like just hitting the dots, it's so cute. It's also a great little thing for them in the car. If they're in the car seat, they can sit there and play with it as well. Or if they're at a restaurant, we keep a little bag in the car now of all the little toys and stuff that would really keep their attention. So that way they can be a little bit more patient waiting for their food. And um, it's just like a good little activity book to have with you on hand that can really hold their attention for a while. So I definitely recommend the polka dot books. All right, so next up is a definite must have, and this is a bath seat. So I had this for Riley. We are reusing the one that we have from Summer Infant. It is like really bulky, but I've actually seen some other kind of smaller ones on Amazon that I'm gonna link down below. So I'll have the one that we have linked, and then I'll link some of the Amazon ones down below. But the babies just sit in it because you know they're like trying to stand right now they're trying to crawl and they're just slipping all over the place in the bathtub this really helps them keep in place and it's safer and they can just sit there and play and it's so cute and it's a lot easier to clean them and do their hair and everything so I definitely recommend a bath seat mine again is kind of bulky which is why when I found these other ones on Amazon I was like oh this might have been better but I didn't see those back in the day but I know that mine is still available too so you guys can pick or choose whatever one you like but I definitely recommend a bath seat. 
All right, so one-year-olds, they are probably starting to walk or starting to stand. They all kind of go at their own pace. I know I have nephews that were walking at 10 months, 11 months, 12 months, 13 months. Riley didn't walk until 15 months. Kinsley, I don't know. I have no idea where this little one is gonna walk. But when they do start walking, I have found my favorite shoes, and I love these for Riley. These are the Sea Kai Run. You can get these in so many different places. You can actually even go to Nordstrom Rack. I actually recommend going to Nordstrom Rack. These, I bought them at Nordstrom and I saw them at Nordstrom Rack like a few months later for way cheaper. So definitely go check out over there. They're the first walkers and they walk so well in these. These are my favorite brand of shoes for the first walkers. Like I highly recommend the Sea Kai Runs. So you can get them at Nordstrom's, Nordstrom Rack to save money. You can get them on Zappos. Um, you can get them, God, so like literally just Google, you can find them in so many different areas. So I will have them linked down below. They have some really cute designs. So when Kinsley starts walking, I'll be getting her some. She's already a size five, so I think she'll be a size six by the time she's walking. So yeah, these are definitely a number one recommendation for the new walkers. All right, so next up, getting into feeding and drinking and everything. I get so many questions asked about this cup right here. I've had it forever. I had it with Riley, and these are the Zoli Bot cups. So there are ones from Munchkin. I think there's also other ones that have tried to do the same like weighted straw, because when they go like this, you can see how that straw goes down and they still get the water, and they don't leak. I love these ones. The Munchkin ones, I have found that they leak, um, these ones, no, they do not. You just have to make sure you get them put on right. Like sometimes if you're like twisting it, it can be like, see how it's like sideways. That means it's not on right. It will leak then. But if you make sure you get it on correctly, it will not leak. And it's the best cup. I had a pink one, but that one finally was just like donezo. This one's hanging on by a thread. I'm gonna order more. You can get them on Amazon. They're kind of hard to find right now. I don't know why. I'm wondering if they're having supply issues, but these are my favorite cups for them. So I highly, highly recommend the Zoli Bot ones. I think they're great little water cups for them to have and Kinsley loves it. It just makes it really easy for them to learn how to drink out of a straw. And then now to bibs. So these are my favorite bibs. They have been my favorite bibs for years. I use these with Riley. I have them in three different colors. I have gray, pink, and teal. So <laughs> I'm obsessed. My sister has the blue one. They're the best because they're roll-up bibs. So they're also easy to kind of take with you on the go too, but you just roll them up and they're from Oxitot and you just close it up like that and boom. It's easy to store, they're easy to clean because it's got that catch-all bib. It stays on them really well. It's a nice little Velcro that the Velcro actually stays really good. It doesn't like wear out. I've Again, I've had these for years and they've held up so well. So these are definitely my favorite bibs for the girls. Um, you definitely have to wait till they get a little bit bigger because these are a little bit too big to put around their neck when they're really tiny. Those are better for like the cloth bibs, but as they get a little bigger and they really got like a lot more head control and they're really moving, like around one, these are amazing. So I highly recommend these. I also take them with us out and about too. So speaking of going out and eating, we are all starting to go out and eat a lot more now and these things are the best. So I bought these for Riley a long time ago and then COVID hit and then we just didn't go out anymore and now we're starting to go back out but Riley no longer throws plates or anything. Like she eats so well with plates and all that. I don't have to worry but now Kinsley is in that plate throwing stage. So I can't really give her plates, especially at a restaurant. So I always have these on hand. It's this little pack that I got on Amazon. I will link it down below, but it comes with disposable placemat and disposable bibs. So these are the placemats right here. So that way I have something to put her food on because what I do is I usually order something that she can eat too and I give her part of my meal and I just kind of chop it up finely and I put it on the mat in front of her and then she just eats from that. So it makes it really easy. I just throw this away. We don't use them all that much because we don't go out that much unless I'm with someone else to help me out with the girls. Um, it also comes with the bibs, which I think they're still in my drawer downstairs, but the bibs look like this. They actually have 
a catch all to them and it's a little sticker like so you just peel off the sticker and it just closes together and it's like paper so it keeps them clean and you just dispose of it when you're done with it so that's another thing that I really really love so we I always have these on hand in my diaper bag for when we do go out to eat and it just makes it a lot easier. Okay, so next up is a sleep sack. And I know that during like one sits really goes down and you can start introducing a blanket, but honestly, like a sleep sack is so much easier and so much better because the blanket, they can kick off of them. They don't really know how to put it back on them yet. And the sleep sack will just keep them nice and warm and also it keeps them from crawling out of the crib. So I love these things. This one is from Little Sleepies. They came out and then like, a launch their sleep sacks. They are so, so soft. I love them. There's different ones for different seasons. You could do like, a, this one is more of their lighter weight one for all seasons. And then there's ones that you could do that are a little bit heavier and thicker for like winter months and stuff, or like if you're in colder climate and it's just awesome. And they have so many designs. And I was like, I have got to get the Minnie Mouse one. I think they had the princess one. They had Mickey Mouse. They had so many different prints that you guys can get. I actually have a code with them, Madison15, where you guys can save 15% off. Not affiliate, I wish it was, because I use it all the time myself. Um, but I'll have it linked down below, and you can use it as many times as you want. I use it every single time I make an order from there, because I'm always buying little sleepies, like always. So you can reuse it and reuse it. So keep it like in your clipboard or something. It's just Madison 15 and it will save you guys 15% off every single time that you purchase from little sleepies. They're the best. They are my absolute favorite. So yeah, it made me really excited to see them launch these new sleep sacks and they're great. So I've got that for Kinsley and I just highly recommend them for the one-year-olds. It's so much easier. <laughs> All right, so last but not least, you guys, we are moving into the baby proofing stage. So it makes me really happy that my house is already baby proof from Riley. <laughs> so I haven't changed anything since, which has been great. Um, and I just kind of wanted to share these that I have. I mean, these are not gonna work for everyone because you have to have the cabinets that have the two circles on either side that you can put this around and then you can just tighten. Yeah, it's not gonna work for everyone, but these ones, if you do have those cabinets like I do, these are the best. I love these, they're so easy. You just pinch it to open it and then you close it. And I have these on every cupboard downstairs. I have them upstairs in my laundry room because I have, you know, your cleaning supplies and stuff in there. And I'm like, I don't trust these kids. So pff, gotta protect them. So this one is my favorite cupboard safety lock, but again, it's not gonna work for every cupboard. So you gotta really check to see like what handles you have on there. And I even have the ones where you stick and then you like, it, they're on the inside and you have to pinch it. Those are so hard, but those are what I have to use for the drawers, unfortunately. Um, because they're hidden and I didn't want to put anything on top, like permanent on top of my drawers. So that's why those ones are there. But I think I did a video on all my baby proofing stuff a long time ago. I'm gonna hunt on Life of Maddie and I will have it linked down below. I'm pretty sure I did. If I didn't, I am going to do one because a lot of these things are really, really helpful to know. I have one on my oven that I love, so I never have to worry about Riley opening up the oven like when it's running and it's hot or anything like that. So I'm going to, I think I did a video on it a long time ago and I still use all the same stuff and I'm sure it's all still available on Amazon. So if I find it, I will link, to, link it down below. And if I can't find it, I will do one for you guys because I think that would be extremely, extremely helpful because I spent forever trying to find like the right equipment to baby proof the house with. So I definitely have been using it for a couple years so I can definitely vouch that it's been working. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed these 12 month baby must haves. I definitely wanna do more videos like this. Let me know if you have any other video recommendations. Just leave them in the comments down below and I'll put them on the list. Give the video a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.